beautiful place. As you can see, the sun is shining and it always makes me feel good. And that's what I want to talk to you about, about how to keep a positive mindset. Hello everyone, welcome to my new business vlog. As you can see, I'm still in San Diego. So I will leave in a couple of days, but I thought, let me make this video for you. Probably when you see it, I'll be already uh, back in Amsterdam, but I uh, still wanted to make this video now from this beautiful place. As you can see, the sun is shining and it always makes me feel good. And that's what I want to talk to you about, about how to keep a positive mindset, no matter where you are in your business or uh, in which environment you are, you know, how to keep a positive mindset when you want to achieve goals, when you are driven and want to, um, you know, get ahead. Uh, how can you stay positive and keep yourself going? Because in every journey, there are ups and downs. And believe me, I had many downs, also many ups, um, but also the downs, they are, you know, inevitable in every journey, uh, in every entrepreneurial journey. Many projects uh, which I have, you know, tried to, which I tried to initiate, they failed, or there was not enough budget, or the market didn't want it. Um, for example, uh, a uh, vitality business I set up with two other partners a couple years ago, in which we would have, um, yeah, companies, in, in which we wanted to have the companies interested in hiring, uh, yeah, workshops to increase their employee fitness, employee wellness. So, you know, we set that up, uh, marketing, everything, website, um, getting customers, but you know, it didn't work out. And there are many multiple things uh, that I also started which didn't work out. For example, I'm now writing a book uh, called Joyful Entrepreneurship, in Dutch is Joyful on the name and uh, it, it will be published in Dutch but before that a lot of people don't know it I already started writing like two books um, I didn't finish them and I also didn't have a publisher but I started on them and you know when you're on your path and you know you get a lot of yeah ups and downs or things that are that aren't working out the way you want it to work out or just doesn't feel right anymore that was the part with like the first two books I started to write then you just uh, you know have to follow your energy and look at what gives you the most energy and then focus on that and it doesn't mean that you have to give up you know we're all in places sometimes where you you know where there's a struggle where it is you know it's hard to uh, yeah move from A to B it doesn't mean you have to give up but you do have to consult with your self your inner self like is this really in line with my passion with what I want to accomplish with what I want to give to this world and if you can say yes then go ahead just take that journey but if it's a, I don't know or no then just you know you have to quit and kill your darling sometimes so um, you know as an entrepreneur always you will have those uh, decision-making uh, yeah, points in which you have to decide like Will I continue with this project or business or whatever or will I terminate it and that doesn't mean you give up it just means that you find another route to achieve that you know dot on the horizon which you really want to achieve so that's my uh, yeah my tip inspiring <laughs> these are my inspiring words for you I hope it helps um, so if you're on a point right now where you are deciding like okay should I continue with this project or not um, just consult yourself and really ask yourself the question and be honest with yourself and it's not giving up it's just also part of the journey because every entrepreneurial journey has its ups and downs so I want to thank you again for watching and um, well greetings from <laughs> to you from the sunny San Diego California and the next vlog will be in Amsterdam again so I'll see you then bye bye